All right, let me get started. Um, and I said, because the group's actually quite small, um, feel free to, to ask questions as we go, actually. Um, but hopefully this will, this will be pretty straightforward. So what I'm gonna do is just talk you through um, the changes that are being made um, to the rules of handicapping um, from the 1st of April. So one kind of caveat I would give you is that, that a lot of the demos that we're gonna look at will show handicaps because they're live demos, they're gonna show handicaps as of today. So it's a bit of a strange situation that it's, it's a demo um, really of, of how to look up your handicaps going forward, but obviously it's gonna give you current handicaps, not, not new handicaps, okay? How do I get to the next slide? Okay, so expectations for today's call. Um, you know, really, the, the slide on the left comes from from um, the RNA actually, and was their attempt at, at kind of a simplified explanation of the changes. Uh, you know, if anybody's come on the call expecting we're going to go through that, um, that's not going to be the case. What what instead we're trying to do is focus not on the how is the calculation done but basically how can I look up my handicap, okay? So if, if you want more information on what's changed, there's some links at the end, but really our focus is, you know, you shouldn't have to calculate a course handicap or playing handicap. This is all about how going forwards, you can just look up um, that handicap. And we're gonna go through a series of, 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 of demos, but, but what you can see on the right is two examples, um, either using the app or just printing a label. Okay, so I, I think what you'll find is that, that once, once people get the hang of this, it's much, much simpler. So um, again, just to set the scene, uh, you saw the communication the other day about, about these updates. So why, why is this system changing? I think the key thing is that the WHS amazingly has been in place for four years. Mm -hmm. um, it's reviewed, it, it, it's designed to be reviewed every four years. And I think what England Golf has done is taken this opportunity really to align, um, certainly around course and playing handicaps with an approach that's used by, by most of the world. So even though it was a world handicapping system, I think each, each country kind of had the, the ability to, to tweak it slightly. And I think this is really quite a big alignment exercise. Um, the second thing is really, you know, most of the changes to your handicap index are, are really quite minor and it, it's really tweaking how that handicap is calculated going forwards. Um, and I think Kerry, Kerry summed this up very nicely that, that really, you know, with a system that's running around the world, they've got a lot of data. They've got data on every single round, every single score. And what, what, what they can do is use that data to basically tweak the system to give everybody a fairer handicap. So um, ex handicap indexes today don't change. Unfortunately, my handicap index doesn't go down between March 31st and April the 1st. It's exactly the same, um, but, but some very kind of like call it optimizations going forward. And I think the final point would be, e that, that, that really all of these changes are being driven by England Golf. So as a club or every club in the UK, we, we are required to implement them. And again, one of the caveats is that, that, again, I'm going to show you demos of the software as it stands today. We have no visibility right now as to what changes the software vendor Intelligent Golf are making. Um, we've been on calls with them, but we don't know exactly what the screens will look like. But you can assume that they'll be pretty similar to what we have today. Okay, and, and, and just to finalize this introduction, so what are the things that we're gonna to review today? Um, really, this call is just to focus on the handicap changes, okay? The key things being your handicap index remains unchanged, um, and it's, it's calculated using the same model as before, so it, it's the, the average of the best eight scores over your last 20 rounds. The two things that are changing are, are how your course handicap gets calculated and how your playing handicap gets calculated. Um, 
So your course handicap obviously depends on the tees that you're using and that the changes when you see this on the 1st of April will, will very much depend on whether you're playing off whites, yellows, blues, reds. Okay. Um, the key thing is that your playing handicap um, is going to be calculated and, and, and they use the term with machine pre precision accuracy. But basically another way of saying that is that, that, that you have to trust the software to calculate that. Um, the graphic on the right is, is basically an image of the, the course boards. So one of the things that's going to happen here is the course boards will be obsolete um, from the 1st of April. There's a couple of people thought this was April Fool or a very clever April Fool when we sent this out, and it's not. Um, it's actually true. Um, that these called the course boards, I think they're probably going to be taken down tomorrow. And um, this is the graphic, which hopefully will arrive by, by Monday, which will, will go on them. But basically what it's saying is, you know, instead of looking up your handicap off of the board, um, we're going to, we're going to ask you or need you to basically use kind of technology so that the, the IG member app is probably going to be more of the go-to. Um, you can still continue to use the touch screens, um, either of them, or, or if, or in some instances, you might use the MyEG app. Okay. But we're going to go through these examples. Just to, to touch on this. So today, and, and that, that's what you can see at the top of the screen, you have a handicap index. You typically look up your your um, course handicap by by using the the course boards and and that that's really using the rating and the slope. So today you look up your 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 course handicap, and then typically if you're playing in a competition, everybody stands on the first tee, looks at the board, gets the handicap, gets calculator out, and then tries to work out 95%. Okay, mm -hmm. and and you derive your playing handicap from your from your course handicap. Okay. Going forwards, um, so from the 1st of April, your handicap index, um, again, is the driving thing, driving input, and the software will use the course rating, the slope, and the type of competition you're playing. So if you're playing a competition, it obviously knows that it's a, a greensums or a foursomes or a better ball. It will take those, those inputs and it will tell you what your course handicap is and what your playing handicap is, okay? The key thing is that, the, or the biggest challenge we've got is that we have to, to educate and coach people that, that you can no longer calculate your playing handicap directly from your course handicap, okay? Um, and I think that's the big, or, or one of the big um, kind of behavioral changes we need to make is that the calculation of course handicap and calculation of playing handicap should be viewed as two two completely independent activities, okay? So if I just recap that again, your handicap index remains unchanged, calculated like before with a couple of tweaks. Um, calculation of course and playing handicaps has changed. Course boards are obsolete, will not be replaced. You need to look up um, your handicaps. And again, I, you know, this is the thing we have to stress to everybody. You can no longer calculate your playing handicap from your course handicap, okay? So then it's a slide we've used in a different training, but it looks at the, the different technologies that we've got available. Um, so if you look across the top, you've got the, the app, the touch screen, the web, the pro shop, and the MyEG app. Um, this kind of shows really what, what each of those, um, each of those can do, um, but really what we're looking at the bottom. So again, Looking up your handicaps, you can do it through the app, you can do it through the touch screen. You cannot really do this by the web. Um, you can do some of it on the MyEG app and we'll look at that. The Pro Shop will help you. And, and, and if you get stuck, they really become the go-to um, the go-to people. But really what they're gonna do is show you how to use the technology. They really don't have any more tools to, to look this up, okay? So what I'm going to do is, if technology lets us, just take you through um, 
some demos of this. And so what we're going to do is first of all look at the touch screen, uh, touch screen demo, then hopefully do an IG member app demo, and then finally my EG demo. Okay. Right. Everybody can see, hopefully, the touch screen. So, um, okay, so the first, I think, you know, <laughs> probably one of the most hidden things was understanding that the, the, on the touch screen that everybody knows and loves, we used to log in, in as members or visitors. There's actually a handicap check button on the right. Okay, so if I click my click on the handicap check button, I just put the first three digits of my um, surname in as usual. Select my name, and what it does is actually tell me what my course handicap is, or it confirms my handicap index here, and it it basically gives me all the T's that I can play off, and it tells me what my course handicap today and my my 95% playing handicap would be. Okay, and and that that functionality has existed always. It's just I don't think most people knew it was there. Um, so you could do that today if you were playing in a competition. You could just um, basically go to the touch screen and look at your handicap. Okay, mm -hmm. I've accidentally just logged on to the wrong one. So again, I'll do it again, Fraser. If I well, mm -hmm. see. yeah. How, what what's the first three letters of your surname? M M C L. <laughs> Probably not the great. There you go. So I look up Fraser. Fraser playing off 15.6 would get 18 shots off the white tee, 17 shots off the uh, if it was a um, yeah. an individual comp. So again, th this number might change from the first of April, but yeah. but the technique of looking it up doesn't. Okay. Yep. Second demo, um, and I think this is the best demo. Is is then. Um, competitions so if i just walk you through this if i'm now playing in a competition and i'm entering on the touch screen i've got a number of competitions set up here for the purpose of this demo and i'm going to use this individual competition touch screen so i would just um, choose my competition enter and check in i pay um, my fees as normal nothing's changed and what you see here now is is the ability to print labels. Mm -hmm. Okay, so print white label, print yellow label. Uh, it it would for a ladies competition, it would say print red label. Um, the number of labels it prints is simply based on the number of T's that are enabled for that competition. Okay, so if I do print white label, print yellow label, um, that's just basically your handicap for the T's. There's printers, there's currently one printer in the pro shop and we're just waiting, we're waiting for the third delivery of the correct printer for the, the, the bar. Um, but, but these are label printers, which you can then just print the label and put it on the scorecard. Okay. So some people have found this and it, it's much simpler way to use it. Okay. Any questions on the touch screen? Just one, Nigel, if I may. Um... Yep. Is the is the printing of that label going to complete everything I require to make my card less for a authentication signature valid? Yes, yes it is. So it's got Pretty the competition, competition name, competition date, your name, um, handicap index, course handicap, playing handicap, which aren't needed, but they're obviously for your reference. So you just stick the label on it and away you go. That's kind. Thank you. Okay. Right, um, now what I've got to do is somehow, this is where the technology gets fun, is I need to switch to my iPhone. So just bear with me. Mirroring, Zoom. Okay. Um, does that come up okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all good. 
good. So I tried to switch off everybody trying to notice. <laughs> I tried to switch off all notifications before this call. Um, okay, so the first thing is, if you're used, I, you know, if you're not using the IG member app, absolutely thoroughly recommend you get it installed. It's now free, and and this was the reason why we did the the, the club wide licenses because we we need to encourage people to use um, the IG member app more. Um, so the first thing is at the top here, you see handicap record. So if you just want to look up um, your course handicap, just click on handicap record. And at the top right, uh, you can see a calculator button. Okay, so it says handicap rounds calculator at the top, just click on the calculator. And again, similar to the touch screen that basically um, shows you your course handicap and playing handicap for each of the tees that are available to you on the day. Okay. Um, so as I said before, this is showing the, the calculation as it is today. Um, what I know is because I've done it already is that, that, that come April the 1st, my, my course handicap off the whites would be um, 22 and my playing handicap would be 21. So everybody's change will be slightly different. Um, I think off the red tees, typically you get between naught and one shots. Um, off the white tees, typically you'll get an extra one or two shots. Um, it all depends on rounding and um, what the adjustment is. But again, that's a really, really simple way of, of being able to go in and look at your, your, your handicap. Okay. That's ideal if you're just playing um, like social golf. If you're playing in a competition, and it, it's using IG. Um, the best way to do this is click on competitions. Oh, and actually, because it's picked up, I've entered into the individual competition on the touch screen. I can just go for one that I've already entered. Um, because I've entered and because I've checked in, you can now see that you've got this begin scoring button um, comes up on the screen. If you click on begin scoring, it tells you what your course and playing handicap will be um, for that specific competition. Okay, so because it's an individual competition, the allowance is 95%. So it's effectively showing me um, what I'll get off the white tees um, or the yellow tees. Okay, what we would recommend, I'm not a fan of scoring on the app. It's not the most easy thing to do. Well, certainly for team competitions, it's not that easy, but I would recommend at this point, looking at my handicap, just clicking the back button. Um, if you want to score on the app, click confirm and start scoring, but but you can always just back out of that screen. Nigel? Yep. Um, I've just got a question. Why does it say course handicap 20, playing handicap mm. 21? Because it's a mixed T competition. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't no, know no. <laughs> no, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, Funnily sorry. enough, I've, I've been asked that question before. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. It's a mix. It's a mixed competition. Okay. That's fine. Now, because this is going so smoothly, let me just try something. Because um, if I just go back um, and look at upcoming competitions, hopefully I set up a team competition. I've got a training only team competition app here. So if I just show you, if I go in and enter that competition, um, okay, and I'm going to play with Fraser, M, C, L. So I just type again in the first three letters, search, add Fraser. So if, if you haven't used this before, it's yeah. really easy. So you see at the bottom of the screen, it says my current yeah. team, no more people needed. So it's me and Fraser. I submit the team. Team's now entered. Um, I now need to check in. In fact, both players need to check yeah. in, um, but I'll check in. Once I've checked in, um, you see that again, I get this begin scoring button coming up. Yeah. If I click on begin scoring, it shows me the two individual handicap indexes and course handicaps, but it now tells me what my team handicap is. Yeah. So this is actually one of the 
mm. changes that has been made based on feedback we gave IG that historically it hasn't displayed the team handicap. So this is a massive step forward mm -hmm. because trying to calculate a greensums handicap mm -hmm. um, is not the easiest thing to do. So again, you can literally just look up the handicap on the app. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Good, good, good. Um, matches. So the third demo is if you're playing in a match, um, again, IG, do, IG does this really well. If you click on the matches button, um, you can see well, basically it mixes um, team matches and knockouts. But fortunately, Chrissy and I are still in the Claret Jug. So if you click on that one, um, what you can see here is, again, it will give you the answer that... Um, for whatever the format this is so it's mm -hmm. awesome you can see the the handicap indexes for both me and chrissy for our opponents what the the calculated playing handicap would be and therefore what the difference is um so we get 10 shots so mm. it's really good that, that this is in the app because you can basically just go and look up this information okay Mm. And you never need to know how it's calculated it. You just trust mm. it and go with that number. Okay. Any questions mm. on that? No. Okay. We might get done in 30 minutes here. Mm. Right. The final one, um, my EG. Yep. So the my EG app, um, I would recommend to everybody to have both the IG, so that's the Intelligent Golf app, and the My EG app. They serve very different purposes. So IG app is, is basically what you would normally use. Well, you'd use it the most because it gives you, obviously, all of your clubhouse information, bar account, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, it, it obviously does the competitions really, really well. Um, we with the ig app though we have turned off the ability for people to do general play scoring through the app um because it was a bit cumbersome and it was causing quite a lot of problems so we switched it off and what we would say to everybody is this my eg app should really be your go-to if you want to know um how your handicap is progressing so if you ever want to know like you can see your my playing history here it's terrible but but this gives you your full record. If you look in IG, sometimes you only see right. rounds that have been completed using the IG tools. So this gives you your, your complete history. This app also does have a calculator. Um, it's hidden. So you have to click on, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see the three dots with more underneath it. Um, if you just click on those three dots, it brings up more options and then I can't point on it, but you can see WHS course handicap calculator. Um, the way this one works is it's using geolocation. So Mendip Spring is my nearest club, but if I choose Bristol and Clifton, again, what it's going to do is just show me my course handicap. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so this is probably one of the differences with the My EG app. It doesn't. It, it really is for people just playing social golf or, 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 or general play scores. At the moment, it doesn't have any kind of playing handicap information. We don't know whether it will go forwards, okay? But again, if, if, if you're playing at, I think if you're playing at Bristol and Clifton, then, then it would be simpler to use the touchscreen or the IG app. But if you're playing away, mm. so so like, so Fraser, you're playing in, in <laughs> you're playing in Ireland. I think Ireland works. So basically, you should yeah, be able to look up your course handicap in the course you're playing at. Mm. Okay. Yep. Final or, or a, a, another one with this um, my EG app, um, which is actually really quite neat. Is if I would always recommend to everybody doing a general play card to use the my EG app. Um, or the touch, you can use the touch screen, but I would recommend this app. The way you do that is that you click on scorecards at the bottom. Um, 
and basically you register the intent. So I can go in and I create a scorecard. I choose the course I want to play at. And again, it's given me this um, geo list. But I choose Bristol and Clifton. I choose then what tees I want to play off. And, and, and you know, very handily, again, it's told me what my course handicap would be. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to do this extra step of if i did it on the touch screen i'd I'd have to register it but at no point does it tell me what my course handicap is i'd have to go and look at that up separately if i do it through this app it 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 basically tells me um what my course handicap would be as well so here you can see if i do a round off the white tees i would get 18 shots um and then basically you know what i would do is i would create the scorecard um ready to go out and play what i do know from experience is it won't let me do it because i'm not at the club (laughs) so i knew that was a safe bet and and i haven't created the record but but what you would do is is when you're at the club you create the scorecard it tells you your handicap you create the scorecard you go and play the round and then basically you can just um tap in the scores okay Mm -hmm. Any questions on the tools? No. That's really clear, Nigel. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome. So in, okay, so so you can see it's quite straightforward for us to do the live. Oh, can you not, can't, hold on, I have to stop sharing. Let me go back. Ah, technology, technology, technology. I've got to put the PowerPoint back in. There we go. Okay, so so we've gone through those different demos. Now, when we send out this presentation as well, what we've also got is um, yeah. embedded into in the- this. Oh, she's, no, no, stop talking, lady. <laughs> for each of those demos we've recorded yeah. a video um welcome to our guide on how to look up a course handicap using the my eg app first click on the more button from the my eg dashboard screen i'm going to stop her because i've just done the demos but basically yeah. for each one yeah. of those scenarios that i've gone through there's like a one minute uh pre-recorded video ai voice um which which then talks you through exactly those steps so you know, these videos we're going to release next week, probably once we get the, the final screens from the software vendors. Um, mm. But that should also help if people mm. need it. Okay. So yeah. recap, if you just remember one thing, which is the same slide over and over again, handicap index remains the same, course handicap will change, playing handicap will change. Um, do not try and calculate your playing handicap from your course handicap. And, and basically just use the tools that we've just gone through. Okay. Yeah. So just then in terms of next steps, you can you can use these calculators today, actually. Um, so the course boards are going to disappear tomorrow. Um, you can you can basically use the calculator immediately. It, it your handicap will just seamlessly change on the first of April. Um, so I'd recommend that. Um, the second thing is really we we if this has actually recorded we we will make the the recording available um, to everybody so that they can watch it back and and as I just showed you those those how to videos we'll release them early next week once we get the live system um, if we get more feedback as we go so I think people will will realize this change kind of from Monday we we can always schedule more of these sessions. And then if anybody really wants to dive into the detail, um, there are actually some excellent documents that have been released by England Golf, um, which really dive down into the the, the weeds as to how these calculations are done. Um, I'd probably recommend just accepting the answer right now, but but, but some people will want more information and, and that there's some great materials out there, okay? 
good we've done this in 30 minutes <laughs> so <laughs> any, <laughs> any questions <laughs> I'm just going to ask. It. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say that was very clear. Thank you. You're welcome. It, it, it's possibly more a question for Kerry. Kerry, do do you know how other clubs which are retaining handicap boards are are, are working that? Um, yes, they. Um, well, we've advised them to have a big caveat on the top saying yeah. not to be used in calculation of stroke play allowances. Right. Um, but, um, so far. Uh, including B and C, I think we've only had five clubs who've taken up the offer of the sort of three hundred quid the county are giving to clubs. Yeah. Um, B and C is one of them, um, yeah. and we're quite surprised that nobody else. There's a deadline of the thirty first of March, right? Okay. And uh, if no other clubs take it, we're going to go out for a nice drink. Um, yeah. But uh, we think it's. Um, I mean, some clubs are retaining boards, um, wow. but we get this horrible feeling they're just going to get a lot of people standing there very puzzled. Yeah. Um, but um, like a lot of these things, I, I would assume we've got 39 clubs in Gloucestershire. I think, you know, 25 are really quite good and there'll be five or six of them who will still have their old boards up on oh, the 1st right. of April. And then we'll get a series of panic phone calls. So there's nothing we can do about that. No, no, uh, right. But I think what, the, you know, we, we are the model for it. We should be, yeah. we've done exactly what EG have said as advisable. And we as the county have said that, uh, advised exactly this, you know, our approach to all clubs um, and the big ones in the sense of ones are doing that. So if you go to Minch, for example, you know, yeah. their boards are coming down on Sunday, et cetera. Yeah. So they're all doing the right thing. Yeah, good. No, no, I think, no Fraser, I think it's probably, yeah. um, let, let me just answer that question also a slightly different way for anybody that's not aware of the background to this as to why we decided not to have the course board. Um, as Kerry said, it's based on the recommendation of England Golf, for one. Um, the second thing, obviously, they would have to have been replaced because the, the course handicap has changed. Mm. But the real problem is people are very used to looking at that course board and then um, getting their course handicap and then taking 95% yeah. of it. Yeah. And you simply cannot do that anymore. You, in about 50% of the cases, it depends whether you're a pessimist or an optimist, 50% of the cases you, you might get the right answer, yeah. <laughs> but, but because of the rounding um, in the calculation, we 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 just absolutely need to untrain people to to take ninety five percent of a course handicap and say that's my playing handicap, um, and and that's why really as well the boards have been removed to try and yeah. make that break. I think, and no, I think, to be honest, uh, I think it's simpler. I mean, I I, yeah. I look at people on a Saturday morning and and. You know, they, sh they they go up to the tee, they walk back to the board, they look up the handicap, that they forget what that was, they look back again, they calculate it, and it's like, actually, you could have just, well, now you can just print the label, which has got to be the simplest yeah, yeah, way, yeah. <laughs> or just look it up on your phone. Yeah, um, yeah. I think people just weren't aware. And in reality, at the moment, if you're, let's say, you your calculation turns up at nine, let's say you're a, I don't know, let's say a 9.0 nine, handicapper and your course handicap is, 9.6 yep. yeah the currently that 9.6 is rounded up to 10 yeah. and if you're 10.4 it's rounded down to 10 yeah. in the future that's not going to happen so if you're 90 so if you walk up there and go oh look my handicap on the board says 10 even i can do the maths that 95 yeah. percent of 10 is 9.5 which yeah. is 10 yeah sure as hell not 10 if you're 9.6 no. or 9.7 or 9.8 or 9.9 so yeah. Yeah. um quite a few of the people will be wrong so yeah. it's as nigel's cleverly done is saying look just look at the computer computer says whatever yeah. it says and it's nicely printed out on a label for you and you can't we, we don't want people standing there going hang on a second i'm doing the maths and getting it. <laughs> exactly yeah, no, no, I mean, the, the, the reason i asked just because I, i've had one sort of polite complaint that the boards are going and and say you know and and he, and he sort of the person referred to he said other clubs are keeping their boards and i just wondered how how that was uh, yeah you know, they they will be at other clubs hmm. hopefully those other clubs will have 
got a big sign above it saying don't do any calculations from these boards they're just for information for general play yeah. scoring only yeah yep. good that's 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 good. Uh, and let me just uh, i'll ask i can ask the question and answer the question because i think the, the the normal question we get when we we we've socialized this presentation is okay that's great but the wi-fi doesn't work yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, the, let, let me just give an update as well on the wi-fi um so over the last i'd say month we've made quite a lot of major improvements to the wi-fi um the, the issue that we had actually was that the coverage in the clubhouse is, is good it um and it's been improved so so mm. we have the bandwidth into the club and, and and that's as good as we get but it's actually it, it, it's very good inside the coverage of the wi-fi in the clubhouse is, is also good but but some improvements have been made one of the focuses has been extending that coverage outside of the clubhouse um so particularly to the first tee and to the patios and to the mm. areas as you walk to the tent um, some new access points have gone in uh, yesterday and and I was able to stand by that cherry blossom tree and get five bars of Wi-Fi. So so that's also made a difference. The big problem actually that, that we were having was that, that most people get continually asked to log on to the Wi-Fi. Um, mm. So it keeps bringing up that splash screen mm. asking you to re-log in. And, and that issue should now have been fixed. Um, mm. We had a hardware, quite a big hardware upgrade was done, which meant that, that we could then change a setting so that, that people keep the log on before it used to log you out after eight hours. Now that's been removed. It should be a question that, that if you've logged on to the, the guest network at the, the club, you stay logged in. Okay, so I think that will help. So, 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 so quite a lot of work has been done to improve it already, that there's more improvements coming to kind of extend it outside of, of the clubhouse. But I think the Wi-Fi, I think, is, is much improved over the last three or four weeks. And, and we've got a handful of people that, that are still having problems. And we just need to work with those people because we think it's something specific to do with Apple devices. Um, mm. So, you know... If anybody gets logged out of the Wi-Fi frequently, um, get in touch with me because because it's something specific to your phone. Most people, I think, have noticed the improvement over the last few weeks. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Excellent. Well, gonna... thanks. I, I think this is great. I guess. And, um... I'm sure there are going to be more than seven people who are going to have uh, questions about that. <laughs> yes. um, so I feel this will be a well-watched uh, uh, item on our um, uh, on our website. And yeah. uh, I, I feel as soon as we get the first competition with no boards in, mm. people will say, yeah. nobody will tell me about this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there'll be uh, uh, a good dozen of us who will be able to say, absolutely, um, there was a lot of communication about it. So thank you for all your work in this and and carry for your uh, expert knowledge behind it yeah no no i'd second that and 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 i had it down as like a last thing is like um carrie thank you for all your help because um and again for, for anybody that's watching the replay we're very lucky to have carrie here because um carrie i think what, what's your official role your your uh, you're the, county, a, uh, the county handicap advisor county handicap advisor voluntarily and and i think you you know more than anybody about these changes and some of the challenges of getting it rolled out and i think it's credit to gloucester golf and actually england golf that, that there's a lot of really good materials which i think have, have made it much simpler for the club to get ready for this so thank you kerry Right, I'm going to switch okay. off the Thank recording. You.